Derek England again with uh, another beautiful day around us. Um, this is life, so let's talk. Uh, today I want to talk to you about um, some more HELOC stuff. As I promised, I'm going to do a couple videos on that, and uh, today's is going to be on future investments with it. Um, so we talked about how you can pay your house off very, very quickly, five to seven years, maybe ten years, depending on your situation which would be way faster uh, than a mortgage save you thousands fifty hundred thousand somewhere in there um, maybe even more depending on how uh, much time you have left on your mortgage and so forth um, but I want to talk about investment strategies to use with it one of the best ways you can use a HELOC is not just to pay off your mortgage your house but it's to use it as a, basically a bank that you don't have to go anywhere else for. It's like a one-stop shop for yourself as well, not just your, uh, your ability to pay it down quickly. Um, you can use it to use it as just a really large bank account. And what I mean by that is because you're able to pay off your balance so quickly, you can actually use that for future investments as in you're already going to have to buy things uh, with it, like your expenses. But I'm talking more like cars. You're going to need a new car eventually. Um, you're going to need the same things most people all need. Maybe need new appliances, maybe a new roof, hardwood floors, things you desire. Maybe a new grill. You know, I love grilling. Um, but... What I'm talking about is you can use it for maybe even future investment properties. What I mean by that is, in my particular circumstance of life, because uh, I'm in the Navy and my wife has a very good job as well, um, we have a little bit of money that we uh, come in. I don't know where we fit in everybody else's thing, but because we make a decent amount of money, we actually would pay off our yearly amount what I mean that by that is we'd pay it down enough to be able to utilize it as in a big lump sum to do other things. And I'm talking about like rental properties. Now I haven't done this myself yet, so this is just all theory and idea uh, concept, but it still would work because in, you tailor it to yourself and how you manage your finances and your investments but if you're looking to invest this is an awesome opportunity for you because it would allow you to have an instant amount of money if you pay down enough and if you're looking for long-term investment stuff this is a great way to just maybe buy rental properties you can buy it outright in cash with the amount of money that you've accumulated meaning you've brought your balance down enough to maybe you have thousand dollars maybe fifty thousand dollars in a year maybe two years most likely it could be in a year and then you take that money and you go buy a, a rental property with full intent on it being a rental property you pay it out in cash you have no mortgage on that house and you don't have to really truly worry about it having somebody in it immediately you can rehab it a little bit spend however much money it needs hopefully five ten maybe fifteen thousand to really do a nice little renovation to really get people in there you can keep your price lower for your rental that way you always have somebody in it and then you just go about from there you add that income to uh, your income and now you've increased your ability to pay it off even faster and then you just keep doing this as in a cycle paying down your HELOC, but then buying with lump sums your rental properties. And before you know it, you could have a massive amount of houses that are in your name with renters in it, giving you rental income, paying down your HELOC. It's like a win-win situation. And pretty much all you have to do is if you have a mortgage, you have the ability to do this most likely. If you can afford a house and a mortgage and you've done this, then you already basically have a bank in your pocket that you haven't been using. It's basically been dead money. Um, also we, we always hear about equity. Your house builds equity. 
as you you bought the house you started paying down the house and then all that little extra and how much it's worth is your equity right that's pretty much equity but you never do anything with that equity until you sell the place and then you're giving a good portion of that away to uh, the different positions and people that are required to get money uh, it's pretty astounding how, how much money you actually don't get in the sale of a house so you really have to sell your house for a decent penny to even get anything out of it most people try to break even so to counter that whole thing is why sell the house when you can just rent the house out and then once you are in a good spot there you buy another house and then another house and then another house eventually maybe you buy your dream house for you and live in that one and then you're just renting all these other houses out trying to set yourself apart set yourself up for some financial success and then the whole thing was financed by your original house it's pretty awesome it's a really really awesome deal uh, and then once you're coming up to the end of the HELOC you just refinance into a new one not hard Plus, you'd already have a good amount of knowledge in how to do it. So that's just my big uh, quick thing on it, how to use it for investments. Uh, you can even use it for maybe business uh, stuff. Maybe you need to purchase some maybe equipment, maybe uh, product, whatever it is. You can use this as a way to help finance yourself in the future. Um, so that's a pretty sweet deal. Uh, you just have to have a big mind for it. And again, you have to have a budget, discipline, a plan. If you don't have those things, you will fail. Uh, this isn't a get-rich-quick scheme. This is uh, basically learning how to use the things that are out there for your benefit. And knowing that they're out there and learning will help you out tremendously. Uh, again, this is a, the end of the video right here. Um, so please, like, subscribe, share. Um, put some comments down, please. I know I had one comment I need to get back to. Uh, but please, please subscribe, like, share. Uh, yeah, give some quick thoughts. Give me some uh, ideas and concepts to talk about, please. All right? Have a beautiful day. God bless. Bye.